I'll be starting today's show with an analogy. Imagine yourself having a car and you're traveling from Lagos to Akure, but you can see obviously that you don't have enough fuel, but you decided let's rough it. <laughs> on your way to roughing it, and your car just comes to an halt, and you're like, okay, since there's no fuel, let me just substitute with water. Do you think your car is going to move? Absolutely no. You're welcome to today's show on Wisdom Yard and Line TV with your favorite sexy sugar mommy of Lagos, Ayomi Kun, taking you through lifestyle show. <laughs> you see, I was rather calling myself sexy sugar mommy of Lagos because I'm sugar mommy. <laughs> Let me go to today's business. Now, today we want to talk about the best time for you to have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Please, the analogy I made earlier is just to let you know that our body needs some right nutrients. Give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Now your body representing Caesar needs a whole lot of food, nutrients, right nutrients at the right time. So just give unto your body what your body requires. You know, food just serves as the natural fuel to our body. Food is like a miracle to our existence. It does a whole lot of work in our body system. So you need to take the right meal at the right time. Don't wait until you are hungry before you eat. The same way you don't wait until your car breaks down before you fix it. The same way you don't wait until your car needs water or oil before you give adequate oil to eat. The same way you shouldn't wait until you're hungry to eat. Okay, now let's talk about the right time for you to have your breakfast. When is the appropriate time to have your breakfast? You need to know that you have to have your breakfast not more than two hours after waking up. You know, sleeping at night, you ate something before you sleep, that is taking you through the night. And at that moment, your body is undergoing a kind of fast because you're not eating at that moment. You're not eating at that moment and sleeping, your body is still working. Your body function is still going on. The necessary processes are still going on. The metabolism are trying to break down the food you ate the previous night. And that's why you know that when you wake up in the morning, you tend to feel fresh, you tend to feel refreshed, you tend to feel healthier, you tend to feel all relaxed. And sometimes you notice that when you wake up in the morning, you tend to have some flat tummy. All these things are because your there was a certain process that there was a certain process. All this were because there was a certain process that was going on in your body system while you were still asleep. So you waking up, you're supposed to refuel your body system by taking the necessary amount of breakfast. So now you've now decided that, okay, I don't want to be stubborn as I've always been and you want to take a breakfast. Please do not take cereals that are just so much, like that has a whole lot of sugar in them. And coffee is not an option. Coffee is not an option for your breakfast. Yes, because I already said it in my previous videos that coffee does a whole lot of harm than good to your body system due to its composition. That is not the story for today. If you know you want to know more about that, just go and check out previous videos. Now I'm talking about breakfast. Do not take cereals that has a whole lot of sugar and neither should you take coffee. You can as well just have something like salad, you can have scrambled eggs, you can have, yeah, just salads. Just make sure that it has a whole lot of nutrients packed in them. Um, you can even have omelettes, yes, omelettes with bread, with bread, all sorts of healthy breakfasts, not on healthy ones. That is that for your breakfast. And now when is the right time for you to take your lunch? Hey, you see this lunch? Um, it's very very important because you might have skipped breakfast so lunch will be the one to cover up for what we've missed during breakfast and before I go into lunch don't forget that your breakfast helps a lot throughout the day it avoids you overeating because if you add adequate nutrients in the morning it can as well take you all through the day so if you had a healthy meal in, during your breakfast lunch might even not be necessary because sometimes you just feel that you're full and you don't even want to eat. Now the right time for you to take your lunch is around 1 to 2 p.m. And that is approximately 5 to 6 hours after your breakfast. So the time you take your breakfast will determine the right time you will take your lunch. 
This time that you want to take your lunch is the right time for you to eat your every food like swallow, rice, pasta, noodles, all sorts of heavy foods. But please, you taking every food, you need to take it in the right proportion. And that is why I've come to the with a formula for your portion, like portion control. Make sure that whatever it is you're eating has at least 50% of veggies, okay? 30% of protein, 15% of carbohydrates, and 5% of healthy fats. That is when you are eating. So if you know that you are guilty of not, com not complying to this present day that I've given to you, then you need to make some changes. So your lunch time, make sure that the same way you're eating every food, you're doing what you're eating LG in order to help your body system. Like I said earlier, this show is not to tell you about what to eat or how to eat it. It's telling you the right time to eat and that is for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And now we're talking about our dinner. How well do you eat your dinner? What time do you take your dinner? Do you eat your dinner at 11 p.m., 12 a.m., 1 a.m.? I know you're guilty, right? Don't look at me with that face. I'm just saying the truth. <laughs> okay, so your dinner, it is very ideal and advisable that you take your dinner at least three to four hours before bedtime. This is because when you're sleeping, the whole of your body system needs something to get going. And you don't want to overwork your system. You don't want to eat pounded yam and in the next 10 minutes you're falling on your bed that you want to sleep. Do you know when you have a blender, a blending machine, and you put a whole lot of food inside that you want to blend, you want it to just blend at once, you will notice that it's taking little process. For it to blend, it's just bit by bit and it takes a whole lot of time. That is the same thing that is happening in your internal organ and with your digestive system. So in order, in order not to overwork your digestive system, just try and eat something light and at the same time, eat three to four hours before your bedtime so that the, necessary, the first process of digestion would have taken place while you're still awake. You wonder why some people wake up in the morning and they are feeling so groggy, they are feeling tired, they are feeling headache, they are just feeling not ready for the day. It's because they had every meal over the night and they worked. Like their body system was busy working. I need to digest this food. I need to digest this food over the night. So while they were sleeping, their system was not resting. Their system was working. Like strong work, not the general necessary work. Oh, this one is not extra work. You don't want that for yourself because your food, whatever you're taking in, affects you mentally, psychologically, physically, and also everything you do generally. So please, you take your dinner three to four hours before bedtime and make sure that you're taking something light. Now, today, Sunday, Bola, Shalewa, Ife, or Do Ayo, you must not take pound dough at night. Do not take a bath at night. Don't take fufu at night. You are not going to sleep in order to fight your spiritual battles. And even if you want to fight spiritual battles, even if you take little veggies, is enough for you to go over the night. Even no matter what you want to find, you'll be able to fight them well. So please, don't take swallows at night. Don't take every food at night. And I know there are some people that they are very stubborn. If you must take it, ah, it's already part of our oral delay. <laughs> it's part of what we must do in our family. We must eat swallow. Ah, you know it's swallow. Mm, I'm not saying that it's not, but make sure you are eating it like four hours or five hours before bedtime so that the necessary digestion process would have taken place. Let me just add this to it, snack time. It's not part of the general breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but snack time is essential because of we that love to share, have something to eat, you need something to live, nibble on during the day. So just got yourself healthy snacks, not on healthy snacks, healthy snacks, good snacks, so they keep you going all through the day. This is Wisdom Yard Online. So if you yet to subscribe to our channel, please do so now. And if you find this video interesting, please do how to like, share it to your friends. And if you feel like there's something I've not said and you want to add to it, do want to drop your opinion in the comment section. And until next time, I remain Aitomiko. Bye. <laughs>